Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are back with some items from Aldi. I'm going to have to work between the vroom vrooms of Tripp's vroom vroom bike. He's working on it again in the driveway. He's been working on it now for about four hours. I finally decided I'm just going to have to start and pause whenever he gets it cranked up. He gets it to run for about five seconds and then it knocks off again and then he starts yelling and it's very unpleasant. So I'm going to work in between the times that it actually operates. So um, I had to go to Aldi and um, I went in there because we were out of bread and milk. The limits that they have at our store right now are that you can get one bread item per trip and one dairy item. So if you're getting butter, you can't get bread. If you're getting, I mean, sorry, if you're getting butter, you can't get milk, stuff like that. So they're very strict on it. So I needed bread and milk. But while I was there, I picked up a few extra things. And then while I was waiting in line, you know, everybody's standing six feet apart. The, the, the line I was in went all the way down the AOS, the Isle of Shame. And I was in that line long enough so that I actually picked up a few things in the AOS that I didn't intend to buy, but I bought them anyway. So we're just going to take a look at the items that I got. And like always, I try to start with the crinkly items first. I try to get those, um, I try to get those done at the beginning of the video. So later, hopefully it's, you don't have that rough sound. Uh, one item I picked up, oops, one item I picked up was bugles. Now in my store, they don't always have these. Every now and then they do though. Um, this, these are the original flavor of bugles. You can see here what they look like. They're enlarged to show the detail. And if you've ever bought them, you, you, know, you stick them on your hands. They're America's number one finger hat. <laughs> they are crispy corn snacks and they're just lovely. Now these are made by General Mills. These are not an Aldi brand or anything like that. Oh, there he goes. One moment. So uh, this is a, let me see, a seven and a half, a seven and a half ounce bag of bugles. You can see it's not terribly big, but it's a very light, crisp snack. So seven and a half ounces is actually quite a bit. Um, it's, it's pretty full, although this part up here is primarily empty, but I thought it would be nice to have a little bag of bugles just in case the kid wanted a snack. And we have Clancy's restaurant style tortilla chips. Now Clancy's is an Aldi brand. They make all kinds of things. Um, they make different types of potato chips corn chips. Um, they have several styles of tortilla chips that they make. These are the big ones. You can see here in the triangle window, in case you don't know what a tortilla chip looks like if you've been living under a rock for 30 years. They look like this and they, and they kind of have this triangular shape. It got it cranked again. No, nope, false alarm. Um, they're kind of curly though. Um, they have these little curly wavy edges on them and these are very inexpensive. Now if you buy the brand name, the Tostitos chips like this, um, at least in this area for a bag this size, this is a 13 ounce bag. It's going to be about $4, um, but you can get a bag of these at Aldi for less than $2. They're usually around a dollar, I think they're about a dollar seventy nine. If that, they may be even cheaper, but it, it varies all the time. Of course, like everybody else right now, the prices have gone up, you know, for, for you know, because of the situation. Um, but they're actually very good. Um, my kids like them, especially my younger son. He's the main one who eats these. You'll see that the top has this really pretty dark blue border on it. And then down here you have the lighter blue. And then there's kind of like a pretty teal color on here. So yeah, that's it's a really good deal. 
Um, you can use them in recipes. You can use them with salsa or guacamole or whatever. My son usually just eats them right out of the bag just like they are as a snack. So, yeah. Clancy's restaurant style tortilla chips. It's very beautiful. I'll put that right here. Now, I do have several uh, produce items that I'm going to stick right back in the refrigerator. One of them, now, now don't crucify me, don't roast me on a spit. Every time I show baby carrots, somebody always gets turned inside out and spins on their eyebrows over it. Um, it's okay. It's okay because, see, I'm not going to live much longer anyway. So it's all right if I eat these because, see, I put some super glue on my fingernail. So I'm not long for this world anyway. And you know what they say about super glue. Um, but I bought some baby carrots. Now these are cut and peeled. Yes, I'm aware they're the devil, but we're going to eat them anyway. He got it started. Hang on a minute. He threw something that time. It sounded like a wrench. Something went ting, 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 ting down the driveway. Theoretically. Um, oh. So, yes, I know. But I, they had these baby carrots there. They're from Grim Way Farms. And it's very grim, so it's appropriate that they name their farm Grim Way. Because I'm buying baby carrots. You know what? We're going to eat them. And then I'll probably go to the store and buy more. And then we're going to eat those too. Um, it's a 16 ounce bag right here. And they were only 99 cents for a whole pound of these little death sticks. Covered in bleach. Which these days isn't a bad thing. The way I see it, it's kind of proactive. You know, cover it. Never mind. So that baby carrots. Um, oh, and this was a remarkable deal. Now, I don't know what happened here with the grapes. I did not intend to buy grapes. But they had their green seedless grapes for 19 cents per pound. I don't know if they just got a whole bunch of them in and didn't, weren't able to sell them. I don't know, but they were only 19 cents per pound. It was crazy. Um, so I picked up a bag of these green seedless grapes. I don't know who made them. They're a product of Chile. We don't know what farm it is. It's just some no-name bag of grapes. But at 19 cents a pound, you can't beat that. I was very proud of that. I got that whole bag for less than a dollar. It's awesome. Um... And then, my, my um, younger son loves corn on the cob. And unfortunately, he was supposed to get braces, but because of this whole thing that's come up, that's been put on hold indefinitely. He's not terribly upset about it. <laughs> um, but, you know, they, the, the orthodontist is not doing any new stuff right now. Um, just basically maintaining people that already have braces. Not starting any new patients at this point. So, on the bright side, he gets to enjoy his corn on the cob a little bit longer. So, he's pretty happy about that. So, you can get these four ears of corn. It is um, Cheshire, sorry, Fresher Farms Sweet Corn. And you can get four ears of this shucked corn. Now, it does have a little bit of silk on it that you have to, you know, remove. And then, you, you know, you clean them and wash them and... and Cook them however you want to, but you can get four ears for two. I think it was two fifty for these four ears here. So he's gonna have some. We're gonna have corn tonight, and um, I picked up. It's in the refrigerator, but I picked up some of their um, grass-fed ground beef. They were out of all the other kinds, so I'm gonna make. Maybe I thought about making hamburgers with that, and then we can have some corn on the cob. You know, maybe, maybe, and I have some apples in there. We can have an apple or something. I don't know. Oh, and I also bought um, some of the refrigerated dough to make crescent rolls with, but it's already in the refrigerator. Um, maybe make some of that. And I also, I'm not, I'm not having to worry about buying stuff to pack lunches with these days. But every now and then, my son likes to have a little, a little cup of fruit with his lunch. Like today, he had some uh, he had some chicken soup and a little cup of this fruit um, here. This is cherry mixed fruit, 
and he also likes the uh, the little things of peaches. They are packed in 100% fruit juice, and they are made by Lunch Buddies, which is an Aldi brand. No artificial sweeteners, and each one of these little containers is a full serving of fruit. Now these have peaches and cherries, pears, and pineapple in them. And it's just like the little, if you're my age, you remember the little, the little Del Monte tin cans of fruit, the little fruit cups, and it had the pop top on it. It's basically like that, except it's in these little plastic containers. So I got a four pack of those, and these are only $1.69. I'm getting to the AOS stuff. Um, it's not a lot, but I picked up one weird thing. It's weird, but it's something I've actually needed for a while, so I was really glad they had it. Now, I don't know when it was. It was one day last week. My son said, if you go to the store, can you please pick up some celery? He likes to eat celery and carrots with ranch dressing. So, um, they had this dull, field-packed celery, and it was only 79 cents for this big bunch of celery. Hang on a minute. Okay. You would think after four hours he would give up. But, no. He's still at it. I don't think that thing's ever going to run properly. I guess it gives him something to do. I don't know. He's washed that Tesla five times in the last three days. And anyway, it, I guess because every morning it has... Uh, pollen on it, which irritates me because I washed both my truck and my car the other day, and the very next morning they were both coated in pollen all over again. They can just stay yellow. I don't care. I'm not washing them anymore. So, yeah, so you get this one bundle of celery for 79 cents, which is wonderful, and you can get a lot of little snacks out of this one bundle for 79 cents. And, um, I also have some ranch dressing from Aldi that I bought previously in the refrigerator. And you can get a whole bottle of ranch dressing for less than a dollar. So, you know, you can get several snacks for less than three dollars. It's wonderful. So this is my nice, lovely, dull, field pack celery. Now usually at my Aldi when they have celery, it's usually dull. I don't often see any other brand it's usually dull. So there's that. Okay. What else do I have? Oh. Now these I haven't actually bought in a while. These are Savor It's for kids. Little, you get these little individual things and they're perforated so you can, you just bend them back and forth a little bit and tear them off. They're little cracker sticks. They look like little bread sticks. And you get a little thing of cheese for each one. And Saberitz is another Aldi brand. They make all kinds of crackers and things. Um, so with this, you get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five individual snacks. And the whole thing is only $1.29, which is great. So sometimes my son will eat one of these with his lunch or as a snack later in the day. Um, I'm not a fan of them. My older son doesn't like them, but my younger son loves these things. So I had noticed that we were out. You know, if you've watched me for a while, you know that um, I wash all my dishes by hand. And I actually use the dishwasher for storage, and that's where I keep a lot of my snacks. And I happened to look in there the other day to take stock of our snack stash. And I noticed that we were out of these. I didn't even know. I didn't even notice it. Uh, but when I noticed we were out, I made sure to just grab some more of these to replenish the stock in the dishwasher. <laughs> I know it's kind of silly, but you know I don't I don't use it to wash dishes, so I figured just use the space for something else. You know why it's wasted space? Use it for something. I just hope nobody ever accidentally turns it on because that could be that could be bad. <laughs> It, but I've been doing it now for uh, two and a half years, and it hasn't happened yet, so hopefully we're going to be okay. 
So that is Saber It's for Kids. And they have this, it's like a whole little subset of Saber, Saber It's stuff. They make all kinds of little snacks like this that are geared towards kids and lunch boxes. They make little cookies, little packets of cookies. They do little packets of crackers, um, little mini muffins, all kinds of things for kids. Of course, adults can eat them too, but they're, I think they're particularly char uh, targeting kids for that. So there's a little thing I picked up. Um, okay. Now these, ooh, these were on the end of the AOS and I happened to spot them because when I was in line, the way our store was set up, you know, because you have six feet between each customer, I was way back in the AOS and I ended up down at the end of the aisle, right by the end caps where they had some spring and Easter stuff like these cookies from Benton's. Uh, these are fudge dipped spring vanilla wafers and they have that wonderful German chocolate on them. I'm sure it's, I'm sure they're wonderful and it's resealable too. It has a little zipper seal at the top. These are light and crispy wafer cookies in road in milk fudge with a sweet pastel drizzle. Now these are going to be really hard to resist, but I did get them for the kids, not myself. Um, this is a seven ounce bag of spring vanilla wafers, which I've never tried anything like that, but they do look delicious. Look at all the pretty swirls and the swizzles, the drizzles on there. So pretty, so festive. So yeah, there's a resealable top. Um, I don't think they're going to be around long enough for that to matter, but you can reseal them theoretically if you need to. <laughs> And one of the things I have started eating recently, um, I'm kind of weird about food. I can eat the same thing every day for a very long time and be fine with it. Um, I eat, this is what I eat most of the time, this, the, the zero net carb bread from Aldi. And that was one of the things I went in there to get. They did not have a limit on the zero net carb bread. They had a limit on all the other breads, but not the zero net carb bread. It was, it's weird. Every time I go in there, it's different. It's very strange. Um, sometimes they will they will say you can only get one bread item, but today they had well, they had the limit on all the breads except the I guess the more expensive breads. I guess they don't sell as fast. Evie's in my shopping bag. I was gonna show it to you, but she's. She's hopped in it. Maybe she'll get out before I show it to you. I'll just pick it up with her in it. Um, but one of the things I like to have is gravy, just plain gravy and bread. It's a, I mean, you can make a whole meal out of it just about. But this is Stone Meal, which is another Aldi brand. And you can tell if something is an Aldi brand by looking on the back. And it says that they have the double money, the double guarantee where they will replace the item and refund your money if you don't like it. So this is a 24 gram packet of powder that you're going to mix just with water. You mix it with one cup of cold water uh, you, and then you put it in a little saucepan and you mix it together and you stir it frequently and cook it on medium heat until it comes to a bowl. And then you reduce the heat and you simmer it for one minute and the gravy will thicken upon standing. And you can get these little packets of gravy at Aldi for about 30 cents a piece. So it's actually pretty good. I like it. So I picked up some more turkey gravy mix today from Stone Mill. And they make spices and um, extracts and all kinds of things for baking and cooking under the Stone Mill name. In fact, my salt my sea salt grinder in there is a stone mill sea salt grinder that I've been using for months. I got that at Aldi a long time ago. Oh, and this is a thing I just tried for the first time not too long ago. I have totally fallen in love with this mix right here. These are from Simply Nature, which is another Aldi brand. Uh, Non-GMO uh, mix of nuts. Now this is an eight ounce bag. 
of, let's see, it has raw cashews, walnuts, and macadamia nuts, and they're not salted or anything, and they're all shelled, and it's only $4.99. I love these. They are so good. I eat these for a snack every day, so while I was in there, I grabbed another couple of bags of these. Um, it is absolutely wonderful. It is so good. There are no peanuts in here, no almonds, although I do eat almonds every day as well. Almonds are really good for you. Um, yeah, these are great. Now, they have several different mixes of these Simply Nature nuts like this for $4.99, but this one that has the raw cashews, um, walnuts, and macadamia nuts is my favorite. So, that's mine. Okay. Oh, this was on the AOS, and this was something uh, that we use here a lot. These are rechargeable batteries, and they're from Active Energy, which I do believe, yep, it's an Aldi brand, and they work with all chargers. I have an Energizer charger for AA batteries, um, and I have four Energizer rechargeable batteries for that. Um, but I was thinking about getting some extra ones just in case something happens to those. My kids use them in the remotes for the Xbox. Um, and it's, you can save a ton of money if you have uh, con, you know, rem controllers. I said remote, didn't I? I'm thinking of like the TV remote. If you have like Xbox or whatever, uh, and you, you know how fast they go through batteries with those things. Since I have four... Um, usually they just need two at a time. They'll take the, the ones out that need to be charged, pop them in the charger, take out the good ones, and put them in there. So the other ones are charging while they're using the, the, the other two. I thought it wouldn't hurt to, to get these. They're pre-charged and ready to use, and you get six, and they had AA and AAA. But I, we use the AA batteries for the, uh, for the uh, controllers. And I think these were only $7.99 for six rechargeable batteries, which, in my experience, is a really good price. So I was happy to get that. Oh, she jumped out of the bag. Awesome. Yeah, um, I went, I, I drove the truck because I have to, I try to drive it at least once a week or so. But I realized when I got there, I didn't have my usual Aldi bags that I take in. I did have this bag in the back of the truck behind the front seat. Isn't this pretty? I got this at Barnes & Noble a little over a year ago. Isn't it beautiful? It's like birch trees, but they're silver. They have this silver metallic glint to them. And it's made out of this really thick felt material. I love this bag so much. It didn't hold everything, but it held most of my stuff. So what I do is, when I get done with my bags, I bring them in and disinfect them and leave them sitting for a while. It's been sitting for a while. Um, let's see, what else? The bread. Now they were out of the typical bread I buy. So I had to get the Square Love and Fresh White Sandwich Bread. Um, my kids don't like it as much, but it was either this or wheat bread, and they hate wheat bread. Um, this is a 20-ounce bag of Love and Fresh white sandwich bread, just like the other kind that I normally get is 20 ounces. This one also is. Now, the bread I normally buy, I can't remember. For some reason, I've bl I blanked out on what color the border is. This one has a pretty red border with a brown bit in the middle there. So, yeah, it's, um, it's awesome. And for me, now they don't, my kids don't like this bread, but I, I am in love with this bread. I eat it every single day. Um, even if you don't care about carbs, I think it's wonderful because it is so high in fiber. I mean, if you're looking for a way to increase your fiber intake, and if you're like me and you hate brand cereal and Metamucil and stuff like that, this bread is awesome for that. It's $3.49 a loaf, which is, I mean, it is a bit high, but um, 
If you bought other uh, low carb or, or zero net carb bread, it's very expensive. Um, most of the stores around here that have it, it's it's about five or six dollars for a loaf this size, and you have to keep it in the freezer. You don't have to keep this in the freezer. It's wonderful. It's only three forty nine, and it's so good. Now they have the multi seed bread, which is my favorite. It has whole seeds in it, or you can just get the plain wheat bread. It's okay. I think the multi seed bread tastes just a little better, and I like the whole seeds in it. I think they're um, I think they're all sunflower seeds. Um, but each piece of this bread now it is vegan and it's an excellent source of fiber. Each piece of bread has five grams of protein and nine grams of fiber per slice. And it is so good. I love this bread. This is my favorite thing from Aldi. I'm always telling people about it. I love it. Um, so I was able to get some of that today, which was wonderful. I was very happy. I got really sad at first because I walked over there um, and I was afraid they were going to have the limit again that you can only get one bread item. But the, they had it limited to the less expensive loaves. You can only get one of those. Um, and at first I didn't see the, the zero net carb bread. I looked and looked and looked and I started to get sad like, oh my God, I can't have my bread. But they had just moved it. It's actually in the store I'm in, they've put it over closer to the cheaper breads for some reason. Like it's, you know, it's been grounded or something. They've they've distanced it from the other breads. I don't know why they did that. It's really weird. It's like they're messing with me, but I was able to get some, so I was I was relieved to go on down and see it down there. Um <laughs> Oh now this gravy is good too. They don't have this all the time, but this is Chef's Cupboard Traditional Turkey Gravy, and it's only 99 cents for a 12 ounce jar. And I, I eat it the same way, I just, I eat it with my bread. And it's just a nice little filling thing to eat if I'm a little hungry, I just eat some of this. I'll, I'll heat up about half of it in a bowl and eat it with my bread and it's just, I don't know, it's good. But yeah, they don't have it all the time. They just, they have it sporadically. So, let's see. This is another thing they don't have um, all the time. This is from the Bake Shop Bakery. You have these beautiful powdered mini donuts. They look like they're just covered in snow. Oh my gosh, I, I am not a big powdered donut fan. Um, and this, we're not just sitting around eating junk. Um, but, you know, a lot of the other stuff I have is already in the refrigerator. You know, the milk, meat, cheeses, things like that. It's all in there. Um, I didn't really get any canned stuff this time. We're pretty well stocked up on canned food. But you can get these little white powder donuts. This is a one-pound container. It comes in this plastic shell doohickey here. And I, th I think they're only like two twenty nine dollars or something. They're really cheap. And you get a whole pound of these donuts. They normally, a lot of times they'll have the, um, they have these, I think, in cinnamon flavor. And then they have chocolate covered. And sometimes you can get boxes that are a mix of two or three different kinds. But my kids only like this kind, just the plain powdered donuts. So when I saw they had some, I went ahead and grabbed a box. Because we haven't had, we haven't had them in a while. They haven't, they haven't had them like, they haven't had them like that in a while. Okay, let me see. Oh, oh, here was another thing they had on the end of the aisle. They had all the Easter stuff out. It's fully stocked. Like, nobody's buying anything for Easter. It's kind of sad in a way. Like, nobody's, nobody's buying any Easter stuff. The, the times I've been out to stores and happened to go buy the Easter stuff, it's, it's fully stocked like they just put it out. It's really kind of sad. Um, I mean, maybe that'll change. I don't know. I'm not planning on going to any more stores for at least... I think we're probably good for a week. We should be. Unless something comes up. Although, I'm waiting for some blood work to come back on my thyroid and I may have to go pick up a prescription. But other than that, we're good. So, this is also from Benton's. Belgian chocolate 
Easter cookies, and it looks like you get two kinds in here. You get the little bunny. He looks like shortbread, and then they have this egg shape, and it has um, chocolate on it and sprinkles in yellow and white. My goodness. And it says that they're naturally flavored, and this is a 300-gram package, 10.6 ounces. A little package of Easter cookies. And Evie's attacking the uh, her scratching post over here, her little tower. But yeah, so I guess you get these two kinds in here. They're really cute. They look like they'd be really good too. But again, that's just that's just for the kids to have as snacks. I'm, I don't eat them. I honestly don't. I, I'm good. Um. Okay. Let's see. I found this on the AOS. One looking for it. The Isle of Shame. <laughs> I'm not ashamed though, honestly. I find stuff on that aisle all the time that we can use. This is a shower curtain liner, and it was funny because I was just thinking, I need a new I need a new liner for the boys' shower. And um, I thought, well, I don't I'm not going to a store just to get that. I hate to order one on Amazon, you know. But while I was standing there, there was one there, so I was happy to get it. Now, this is a Piva shower curtain liner. Look at that barcode. Ooh. And of course, you have one on the back, too, for quicker scanning. 70 inches by 72 inches. 100% PEVA, mildew resistant, rust proof metal grommets. These little things here that go up at the top for the shower curtain rings. It has a reinforced mesh header, a secure hem with magnets, suction cups to keep the liner firmly against the wall. I thought that's what the magnets were for. Oh, maybe that's just on the side. And you can clean it with a damp cloth. So I was really happy to find that because that, that, that was one of the few things that I could think of that I really, I kind of needed, but it's like, I need it, but I'm not going out for just that, you know? So they had these in white and light blue and a light beige. So I just got a plain white one. I think it was $7.99. I honest, I don't remember. It was either $7.99 or $5.99. I can't remember. Oh, bananas. Bananas, I only got a few. Um, we're not big banana people around here. We don't eat a lot of bananas. Every now and then, though, somebody will take a notion to eat bananas. The, the only thing I will say is I have not had really good luck with bananas from Aldi. It seems like most of the time when I buy bananas at Aldi, they're only good for about a day, and then they get all mushy. Um, they're super cheap, so, I mean, that's good. But they just don't seem to last very long. I mean, they look okay now, but I bet they only have a day or so that they're going to be good. And then they're going to start getting weird on me. Um, but yeah, we don't eat bananas very often here. It's just, I don't know. It's just not something we eat too often. Oh, now these. I was happy to find these. Look, check it out. It's not a security camera, although it kind of looks like it could be. It's not. It's a spotlight. And I got four of these, no five, and I'm going to put three on the front and two on the back. Just a little extra light around the house might not be a bad idea. Um, and it has up here a little solar panel so it can absorb, you know, the sunlight and charge during the day. And it has a little on-off switch right here, and it has a high output of 30 lumens. Now these are from Garden Garden Line, which is an Aldi brand, and you can see you can adjust it to shine wherever you want it to, and you turn it on, and um, yeah, I'm I'm excited to see how bright they are, how well they work. These were six ninety nine each, and I, I got five of them. It has a plastic cover on it right there. And it, of course, it has the silver reflector stuff inside. So it has a stake right here, very simple. You know, you don't have any wires. You don't have to plug it up anywhere. You just plug, you just stick it in the ground. Make sure it's turned on. Point it wherever you want it. 
you'd probably have to wait until it was dark and so you could see where you wanted it to shine to know exactly where you wanted to point it but um yeah so i i was i was really tickled to get these i had been thinking about getting some um i just hadn't done it so yeah when i saw they had these i thought that'd be something pretty cool to try and i kept my receipt just in case they don't work um I don't know if right now I don't know if they're taking returns or anything I, th I saw something up on the door as I was leaving about that um, well let's just hope it works let's hope that let's hope they work now it's kind of been, been overshadowed by the gallop and consumption that we're dealing with right now but it is it is that time of year again for Aldi at least in the USA to do their German stuff you know it's a German company um, and they, around this time every year, they will feature all kinds of German products. And I saw these, they started as, he, he got it, it's running. Is he going somewhere on it? Lord, he's going to trust it enough to ride it somewhere. Bless his heart. Bless his little cargo short wearing heart. Hmm. I just hope he picks up all the tools he threw in the driveway. You know, his dad does that most of the time. He'll have his little temper tantrums out there working on that thing and fling tools all over the place. And he'll just leave them and his dad goes out there and cleans up the mess. Um, never mind. He's too old to be having temper tantrums like that. He's, he's 30 if he's a day. Theoretically, that has nothing to do with German festival. I don't know what they call it, but they feature German items. And uh, well, this one, oh, this one is deceptive though. I just noticed, you know, they have a little German flag right here, and it actually says inspired by Germany. Where was it made? It, it was made in India, for heaven's sake. German style pickles, and look, it's the man in the high castle. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, he's back. Hang on a minute. I, gu I guess that 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 room room bike is just going to be his cross to bear during this time. So anyway, I was talking about German style pickles inspired by Germany, with the man in the high castle made in India for Aldi. Okay, now this is a. 23.6 ounce jar of these pickles and they just looked adorable look at these little things look at these cute little pickles now we love pickles around here well my older son and i love pickles my younger son hates pickles he won't eat them he won't eat pickles i like them now well i like dill pickles i don't like bread bread and butter pickles and i don't know if these are like bread and butter i don't know what they are um, I'm going to find out though. I'm going to stick them in the refrigerator and let them get cold and then I'm going to try these German style pickles. There's all manners of stuff floating around in there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to give them a try and see, see how good they are. Hold on a minute. Now I got Evie over here. Well, that went on for a while. I had time to move stuff. <laughs> Because the cat got calmed down, and then Trip came back with the motorcycle. Well, I think he tried to leave again. I don't know what happened. It sounded like he was dragging cans down the road. I don't know if the muffler has a problem on the thing. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, he's back, and I don't, I don't know what it's. I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, we have two more things. I'm leaving the weird thing for last. And one thing I wanted to tell you was. I bought some of this previously, this Tandle or Tandil, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, this is an Aldi brand of laundry detergent and it has odor blockers and it's sport laundry detergent and it does 59 loads. Um, and when I bought it, I, t I, would, I said I was going to tell you how I liked it. I love it. It is wonderful laundry detergent. Um, and if you're at Aldi for whatever reason, my Aldi had it on uh, clearance for $4.99, so you can get this great big thing of it. It was $7.49, and 
and now they're doing away with it. I guess they're not going to have it all the time. You can get the Tandle Sport with Odor Blocker. It's comparable to Tide Sport Odor Defense, and they've got it marked down to only $4.99. I just grabbed one because I still have a, I still have basically all of you know the first bottle I bought. Um, so yeah, it does 59 loads and it's on it's marked down to only 4.99 and it is great. It is wonderful and it smells good. My son loves it because he hates. He says all my other laundry detergent smells like flowers and this really doesn't. So he likes the way this smells a lot better. He said he hates smelling like a flower garden. So. So yeah, this is Tandle Sport Laundry Detergent, marked down to only $4.99. It's awesome. Even at $7.49, I think it's a really good deal. So you're going to get 59 loads out of there. Okay, here's the last thing, and it's ridiculous, but I actually needed one. Look, <laughs> it's not a giant bendy straw. It's, um, it's a flexible downspout extender. It looks like some kind of weird musical instrument. <laughs> no, I need it for the uh, the downspout on the side of the house over there. Every time it rains, see, I have um, I have mulch around there. It's like a little flower bed thing. Every time it rains, it runs through and it washes all my mulch out. And I had been meaning to get one of these to kind of redirect the water that comes out of there. So they had these, and it extends up to 55 inches. And this is also from Garden Line, which again is an Aldi brand, just like uh, the Spotlight. It's, um, yeah, so it's flexible, made in the USA, sold and distributed exclusively by Aldi. And it says, cut here, if you want to, I guess. So you have to pick the side that fits your down, oops, because one is a little bit bigger than the other. I don't know which one I'm going to need, but so I guess whichever one you don't need, you cut the other one off and you can bend it and shape it any way you want it. You can pull it just like, you know, like a bendy straw, you know, you can pull it or you can leave it collapsed or just whatever works. I'm not going to do that here because you know how loud a little bendy straw can be. Can you imagine how loud this would be if I pulled it apart right now? <laughs> It'd be awful. It'd sound like my back in the morning when I get out of bed. Um, yeah, so this, yeah, it's goofy, but I was really happy to find it. <laughs> so now I can redirect the water coming out of my downspout and it will quit washing all my mulch out into the yard because every time it rains, we have to go out there and pick up mulch because it doesn't seem to matter. You know, I cleared it away from the downspout, but if we have a really big rain, the water, I guess, just comes gushing out of there and it just washes this huge area of mulch and we just put down a whole bunch of mulch. So all my new mulch is getting washed out in the yard and it's very frustrating. So I'm hoping that that downspout extender will help. So I was really excited to find that and the spotlights. So, but that is everything that I got at Aldi. I just thought I would show you before I put it up. See, I've sprayed everything with my cootie spray. I have this cootie spray. If you go to the CDC's website, they can show you how to make uh, a spray to um, with Clorox and water and just put it in a spray bottle to kill the cooties on your stuff. And everything I can spray, I do spray when I bring it home. Even the mail, I spray all the mail and, you know, leave it sitting for several hours before I touch it. You know, I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me I'm doing it wrong, but, you know, I'm, I'm like everybody else. I'm trying to do the best I can, you know. But I just wanted to show you all my stuff before I put it up. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope that wherever you are, you're doing well and staying home as much as you can, and um, I will see you again really soon.